Hi there, welcome to the second lesson on trig equations. Today we're going to look at what happens when we're solving an equation is equal to a negative. So, uh, identify which solution to a negative trig and which equation exists. So again, using our cast diagram there, and then similar to the last time, we know to provide all the solutions to it. So firstly, looking at our graph, and again, looking at sine x equals to a half, but this time we're talking about negative a half. If this is a line negative a half here, we're going to have two solutions, one there, and one there. That's the two points where the sine graph is equal to negative a half. Now, there is our two solutions. We've seen last time how these angles are exactly the same as that angle at the start. Okay, now, that angle we know from last time, that's 30 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply that angle we were calculating last time and the two quadrants we're saying is negative. So here, and here to get us our answers. So x, the answers are going to be, well, 180 with another 30 added on. So that's 210 and 130 coming back from 360. So 210 and 330. That's going to be our solutions. So what I want to do again is just develop the kind of strategy that will work all the time for us. But that is the theory behind it. We're using our graphs and checking out where these things are happening. So our solutions, to solve the same problem as well. This time I'm looking at a sine and I'm looking at a negative here. So the sine is positive in the first and the second, which means it is negative here and here. Okay, so those are the two quadrants where my solutions are going to be. I'm going to do the next bit exactly the same. The angle I'm working with is inverse sine of a half. Okay, not negative a half, a half. And that is to give us the angle that we're working with in the two quadrants. Then our solutions x, well, in the third quadrant is 180 plus a, and the fourth quadrant is 360 take away a. So x is going to be those two things 180 add a, and 360 subtract a. So 180 add a is 210 because a is 30, and 360 subtract a is 330. Okay, so that is how we're going to structure it to make it easy to solve all of them. You've seen in the slide before the kind of theory behind it. Okay, so I'm going to give you two more examples again and I'm going to leave you with some. Okay, we're looking at tan x equals negative 1. So I'm looking at the fact that well, I'm dealing with tan and I'm dealing with negative. So I'm looking at my cast diagram to see where tan is negative. Tan is positive here and here, so I know it has to be negative here and here. Okay, next, same again, I'm going to do the angle is equal to inverse tan, not of negative 1, but of 1. Okay, so I've got my the angle that I'm working with. Okay, so that's equal to 45 degrees. And then I'm going back to my cast diagram and I'm saying, right, well, in that second quadrant, I know it's 180 take away A. In the fourth quadrant, it's 360 take away A. So my solutions are X equals 180 subtract A, and 360 subtract A. So 180 take away 45 is 135 degrees, and 360 take away 30, uh, 45 is 315 degrees. So they are both my solution in tan. Okay, which matches up here. Okay, that's the one down there in the graph, and that's the one down there in the graph. Okay, one more example. Okay, we're looking at cos x of negative 0 0.45. So first of all, what I'm looking at is, right, I'm looking at cos, I'm looking at a negative uh, answer. So cos is positive in the first and the fourth, so it must be negative in the second and the third. Okay, next I'm doing the angle is equal to inverse cos. So 0 0.45, remember, ignore the negative, which gives you 63.3 degrees. And I'm going back to my cast diagram and saying, right, well, in that second quadrant is 180 take away A. In that third quadrant is 180 add A. So my two solutions for X is going to be 180 take away A and 180 add A, which when we do 180 take away 63.3, that is 116.7 degrees. And when I do 180 plus A, that's 
0.3 degrees and that is my solution to that problem okay i'll leave you with those three examples to try bring them into class teacher will go over them let us know if you have any issues thank you very much much